Uh, hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to this live show, Mr. I would like to bring my the invited guest connected here today. He is nobody else but Chief uh, Fontella. Are you there? Yeah, fellow yeah, Ambalanders, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Southern Cameroonians, you people are welcome on board the special edition of my live show, whereby I will be bringing a special guest in the name of Chief, known as uh, Mr. Uh, Chief Ernest. Fontenella, resident in the United States, for, him to, uh, for, 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 for us to get a lot of clarity surrounding this revolution, mostly within the within the Kupe Mwanungba County. We shall also be looking into ways of our people to drop, which I shall also be suggesting on how we can recover some money that are meant for any procurement in all the counties, and not, not specifically, because when I said uh, embezzled more and more drafts, many people had to be calling me, they thought I meant somebody has embezzled. I simply meant if someone has misused funds that were allocated to a particular business, then without giving accountability and convincing one, they will term it as a embezzlement. So I shall be suggesting on how the ID and the various counties and LGS have to respond if such thing comes up. So, uh, uh, Chief, I don't know if you can hear me. I can't see you on the screen. 
Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Clovis. It's just, let me see, maybe my camera is pointing somewhere else. Let me see how. Yeah, because I can, I can, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you see me now? Yeah, I can see you. Okay. And fellow viewers, if you share this live broadcast because it's going to be so important, it's very, very imperative that this information goes out there because this is a very crucial moment in this war, in this independent war, and that a lot of things have to be put in place for us to realize a successful 2021 war draft to flush out the occupying regime, to flush out our occupiers and our enemies. We have just one enemy. We don't have enemies. We have just one enemy, and the sole enemy is La Republic du Cameroon. So share and share and share. Share this live show so that invite others. I know many people always come after I see thousands watching, but I really want really people to watch live so that you can also make your comments there. You can also table some questions if you have any doubt, if you need any clarity or clarification in what we shall be discussing in this show of today. So, without keeping my guest with waiting i would like him to like introduce him. himself to the yeah. audience before I, pro I, pro I proceed with my interview yeah. you have the floor <laughs> oh thank you mr clovis uh as you just said my name is chief Ponchinara and former nguti chair founding father of the of the uh, nguti area under kmc kupemanigoba county Presently, I'm one of the advisors, security advisors to the county and the chair lady in terms of security. Um, I want to thank you for inviting me to your show and also greetings to all your followers. Uh, this is a crucial moment. And uh, I want to tell you that I'm an open book. Any question, please? Any question? Thank you again. This is a great show. I'm glad to be here. Hopefully, you will invite me again. After. You are welcome, and uh, you appear to be resourceful and you will be useful for us for this struggle as a whole and for the people of Kupemwanuguba County within this revolution. So, my first question goes What is the situation of the Kupemwanuguba County? within the context of this independent war. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Kupe Maninguba, I want to start by saying uh, greetings to all my Kupe Maninguba uh, sons and daughters, the uh, brothers and sisters of this revolution. Uh, again, thank you for coming out to listen to both of us. Kupe Maninguba is a great county. Kupe Maninguba is a place to be. Kupe Maninguba need protection. Kupe Maninguba is actually, you know, I know there's rumor out there that Kupe Maninguba is slow. No, we're not. And just to answer a question like that, Mr. Clovis, maybe you have some question from people who want to know specific things. Yeah, I cannot just start speaking. There are stuff that we call them classified. So, if they're classified stuff, if you ask a question that relate to a classified uh, stuff, I would just, it's either I brush it out or I slowly explain it to the people that I can actually talk about it. It is true. So if there's any specific thing that people want to know, um, I could put my by people want to know, Bazonians want to know, please, I'm here for that. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, my dear fellow audience, you people would have heard his propositions, uh, his proposals. He's open. He's very, very open and welcoming. He's ready to respond to any questions, doubts surrounding certain issues within the county of Kupemwanunguba, within the 
various LGA as well, because we are big, we are broad. So you will have your question, you will table your question after we must have, inter I must have interviewed him here. Yeah, giving a vivid description of the Kupe Manungu account, my second question goes, what can you tell the audience, what can you tell the Amazonians about the last war draft how it went, how it was managed within, uh, in Kupe Manunguba County. That is War Draft 2020. Yeah, Mr. Clovis. Before I came here, somebody told me you are, you, I should be very careful. You're going to be a tough cookie because you like to dig stuff, and which is part of your profession as an activist. And that question, I will honestly answer it to the best of my knowledge. Yes, the draft last year, 2020, Kupe Manguba did very well. Money came in through the county. We agreed that the three LGA agreed to draft at, as one. Meanwhile, down the road, 30% of what comes from each LGA, that, for example, let's say, Nguti contributes 10,000. 30% of 10,000 will go to Nguti. 20% uh, will go to the, uh, to the state, which is our government. That's our taxes that we're paying. And 50% for the county to handle uh, the county stuff. The money came in very well. Meetings were held within the county. How to manage that money. How to use the money. And you know, we, we have one of the best security team that I can say right now. I know most people will not agree with me, which I will go in detail on it. They came up with a plan. One, one of the plans were <clears throat> the target. What are we going to do? What do we need to do? Then there was a project from, the, from, uh, from above, from the president, handed to them that needed to be completed. And county had their own project. And when I say county had their own project, was um, what I'm saying is that each LGA, there's something that has to be done to chase out the occupier. So before the draft, we had already started with something that we call AK campaign. And people were paying it already. So when LGA by LGA, county by county was introduced. We moved it now to another project. And that project was that we build a production unit. And we're saying a production unit so that we can produce mass equipment that will serve all the three LGA. Because at the time, the entire Kupe Manungba had about 300 soldiers. And with the money we had at that time, you could not just go and buy AK pump action. It would only go to about 20 soldiers, but we needed every soldier to have something to defend themselves and defend the homeland. So a budget was created, the charity approved it, the money was actually handed to that project. We had engineers. Uh, just so, you put this on the record. The plant was supposed to be the first place that they suggested that the plant should be was somewhere in Guti, within around the center area where it would be easy for our transportation and distribution. Nguti, not Tombe, not Bangal. The engineers then at the time said, no, that area is not secure, not safe for us. We want it somewhere else. This is where we are. We want it here. Security men did not argue. You are on the ground. You know your terrain. They issued money for it. It was a lot of money. But we had a setback during production, which I think everybody who is part of this revolution and attends meeting in Kupe Manunguba know what happened. People would angry, insult with phone at each other. Do I blame them? No. 
One of my comrades even said, we have to storm that area. And if it means doing anything, we do it to cooperate everything that we spend our money on. I got mad at him at the time. We exchanged words, but he was right. But we were angry without due investigation without proper investigation. But after uh, an investigation was done, the report was presented to the chair lady and members of the executive and county representative We chill. We continued and we said, okay, we still have some money again in the bank. We said, treasurer, tell us how much you've got. He told us, but remember that the Ambazina government has handed, uh, handed us a project as well for a special force. In America, you call them, uh, 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 they have the special, either you call them SWAT or Navy SEAL. But I'm not gonna give you the name here today. Some people know it. And they needed each county to come up with good soldiers, train them for special mission. The county had to put a budget on the site for that. There's rumor out there. There will always be rumor. But don't believe everything you hear. People will come out, even those that were in the meeting, agreed that this project should be carried on. That I came around. Oh, money was this, money was that. To be honest with you, we did our best. Kope Maninguba did what was required of them. Now, you have, I mean, you have the time, you have the chance, I mean, you can stop me at any time and ask any other question, but talking about the draft, you also have to know that we are here in diaspora. The people on the ground are our ARF. Mistakes were made on both sides. Mistakes were made. Yeah, uh, Last yeah money. I can stop you there because we agree and I myself I am prone to making mistakes as many others out there. It's only God who can never make mistakes. Now, if mistakes were made and made ignorantly or willingly, that is where we can, when, they were, when those mistakes are turned to be willful, to, to be carried out willfully, there will be a problem. But I don't, I don't want to categorize such errors. You have given a vivid narration on how the draft was managed. It shows, it, it appears to me that this money was being managed properly by the county. Though I'm not a member, I don't need to be an official in the, in the, uh, of, that, of our county. I don't need to be an executive member of any LGA because I am an activist. Because if I become a, an executive, an executive member, an ESCO member, then I will be banned from saying certain things that are uh, that will be truthful. Now, if you say properly, like you are telling my audience, that that money was rightfully managed and properly used as it was designated to be used. Why are uh, why are people some people? I will not say majority, few people because I don't know the number. There are in as much as I know, there are few people out there doing everything possible, wanting the chair lady of Kupe Manunguba County out, whereas a proper job was done according to your analysis because you are an insider. Yes. Uh, Mr. Clovis, let me wrap up on that same question of the draft, then I will answer your next question because I, I think people will be out there chewing their teeth and said, oh, your, explan your explanation wasn't enough. I also want you to know that while we are here in diaspora, we raise money, we don't keep it here. None of us will go down there to pick up and, and do the job that is that it needed to take us to Boya and do the job that has to be done to go to Boya. None of us. All you have to do is, hey, you are there in ground one. How can we get this? 
what do you need, you know, to continue with this struggle? We need this, we need this, we need this. The money was calculated. The chair lady gave an order to the treasury. Disburse that money. Money was sent to other countries to buy our sticks, to buy our equipment. Those equipment came. Are they going to bring this to us here in diaspora? No. You will hand them to soldiers in Ground Zero. Whatever becomes of those things, some people think it has to lie on some of us here. Knowing what I know now, back then, yes, I was among those that were blaming. But after a proper investigation on my side, my behalf, those things were handed to them. Some of them disappeared. Those are the result of war. It's like a soccer game. You go in so agile, to, willing to win. You will do your best today and play and win. But my brother, we should learn to cut our losses and move on. Money don't make us. We make money. Okay? And one other thing, too, though. We, people should know that as of now, when we started this war four years ago, none of us was an expert. Nobody was a revolutionary expert or a guerrilla war expert. We learn as we go. We fail, we stood up. We fail, we stood up. Okay? So three years, let's say four years, we learned. Right now, we understand how the game is being played. Yes, people have, have advices. You will stumble. Do you want to stay there and die or you want to continue moving? The answer is continue moving. So I will seize this opportunity right here and plead to those concerned, the people of Kupe Maninguba, those of you that are making those stories, those of you that have decided not to be part of this because you want this, this answer. The answers have been given. Do your own private investigation. Also know that if money set aside for something was used for that purpose. But the disappointment came from ground zero. We don't have a system of government, as the President Sarko said. One of our meetings, he had to come in and listen to us. Because people were screaming, there's a problem here, embezzlement there, and so on and so forth. But the good news of it is that those people saying that money was embezzled. No, they're not saying money was embezzled. They're saying that the equipment were handed to the wrong soldiers. How do you know the right one? We just know the numbers. We talk on the phone. Okay? There's always going to be a stumbling blocks. There are always going to be glitches. There are always going to be disappointment. But should we just stop there for mm -hmm. our hands and then hand ourselves to, to, to La Republic? That's the question I'm asking them. If you want to stay away from your county now, I mean you're giving up. You're a sellout. Come back and let's have a concrete uh, 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 debate. Oh, no, no, no. I shouldn't say debate. Conversation. A fruitful conversation on how to move forward from here. Okay? God has guided us to here, to this level. We are in a proper place. We all now know something about guerrilla war. Come up with a plan identify identify the mistake we made and then figure out where to go from here don't just sit in your bedroom and say oh no you guys no 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 i will tell you categorically yeah uh, i can I'm, get i'm getting you i will cut you there yes okay. uh, after you explaining this to the audience and to my humble self i'm at least Happy and be, uh, I think I'm happy because I've attended a lot of meetings in uh, other counties, other LGS, and I've heard some problems, identical problems, just like what we, we, we have with our own county. There is no county whereby, or where there is no county that is free from problems. But I wanted the population and the Kupe Mwaniguba people in particular to know what 
went on, what is the situation, and what is going on right now. Now, moving forward to that, I'm satisfied when I ask this question that is left for the audience out there to jump because they have their own uh, way of thinking as well. They have their own opinions and they are free. But I think this your explanation is very, very logic and clear. You are not on ground zero. I myself am not on ground zero. You put things together properly and you send them down to the right channel and they said they go they went to the wrong channel. All these people received them, they did this and did that. So that is also important. And what I want to take note of, I want my audience to take note of the fact that you have acknowledged that there were certain mistakes because nobody was a revolutionary warrior. Nobody is a, 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 a gorilla war. We never knew that. So we are learning from this mistake to move forward and to emerge more with more victories. Now, yes. uh, uh, analyzing that situation, after, because from my own judgment, I think the chair lady of Kupe Mani uh, County must have been doing a very good job. I have not been, I have not spoken to her, but I, I think I, some certain times I attended meetings at the Kupe Mani County. I have not spoken to her to know about this situation, but I think from the the explanation, she's doing a wonderful job, but facing some pressure from others out there. Is there anything like uh, people fight in fighting within the Kupe Maninguba County for people to unseat her because of the grit for power after she was have been doing a good job like this? Uh, Even if you will not give up names, but we, we, we really want to know because I think she's doing a good job as well. That is my county. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, 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 mm -hmm. Mr. Covey, for asking that question because that's something that uh, actually, yes. You know, in, when it comes to leadership, when a leader makes a mistake, oh, excuse. people look at a leader as God. <laughs> yes, people look up to the leader. When anything happens, goes wrong, on a plan that all of us sat on the table and accept to execute that plan. And if it's faulted, where do you think the blame will go? They go to that leader. But people, these days, I am asking, pleading with my county, that let's look into ourselves and ask ourselves, what role do we play? What role? did we play to create these mistakes? Some of those mistakes were voluntarily created. But now they shift the, the blame to the leader with the cheerleader. Wonderful, wonderful leader. Believe me. Also, I want to thank the Ambazonia government and the Maningwa people for making that woman our leader. She is the reason why when I look at women today, in terms of administration, management, you see potential. You know that our Ambazonian women are tough, focused, composed, no nonsense. I mean, look at the way they manage houses. Maybe you have a girlfriend or a wife. Who does the entire thing in the house? It's women. So it's easy for them to handle situations like that. Yes, people wanted her out some wanted her out because they thought it was the right reason but most of it was because people wanted that power wanted that position this is war those picking guns should be men we are the men we should handle security this woman my brother when i look at her she did what every leader did she did what I failed to do in Guti, to take executive decision when needed. She stood up, oh, let's do this, let's do this. Oh, you don't have to do this, oh, cheerleader. She sat quiet, smart, and did the opposite, which was right. But 
If there's a mistake out of it, let's learn from it. Okay, let's learn from it. So the good thing is not to unseat her. The right thing to do here is not to unseat her. From what I know, if anybody else, a man was in her position, some people have withdrawn. Yes, I don't see any reason why they withdraw. Okay. And sometimes they talk to her condescendingly, disrespectfully, bully her. But do you know what she does? At one point, she was just, she has this smile. She was cracking and the entire house would chill. She apologizes for every mistake. But that does not derail her from what she's supposed to do. And she has been doing it. Those that want to unseat her, how different are you going to make it? Do you have the potential? Because looking at all of them, all of us, when we come to the meeting, sometimes we insult ourselves. We disrespect ourselves. We say things that are unhealthy to one another. Okay? And some are doing it just because she's a woman. Because she's a woman. We always, we have this notion that in a place like that, it should be men. No, Ambazonia has proven that women can handle this place. And that woman is an example. She is doing a wonderful job. Right now, there are, let me, let me just uh, uh, end with this. She is walking tirelessly. That is a woman who is married, has a family, has a career. I don't know how many hours she sleeps at night, but she's always there, even when you don't need her. She was always there. She has a husband. Huh? How many of us would do that? There are glitches. Now, we didn't pay my name, but glitches that she's walking to clear them away, like, like, like uh, uh, cobwebs. She's walking her way gradually to clean them, clean the house, and then invite us back. Things are going to work. There's nothing in this life that will go 100%. But she's, we are trying to manage it, looking at it from another angle, how to deal with it, with the problem. I hope that answered your question. Yeah, uh, thank, yeah you, uh, thank you very much. Very much. I hope my yeah. audience and the audience, the Bazonians, yeah. are listening to this vivid narration, this truthful narration that you are giving, because I don't know, I don't even think you are from Donguti County, uh, from Donguti LGA, under Kupema Nuba County, and I think the chair lady should be from my own LGA, because that name, yeah, though I don't know her personally, she should be coming from, yes. from Bangam. Oh, okay. yes. Now, from the look of things, she is doing a good job with her team, but there was another problem. Why was uh, why was uh, why was Prof and his deputy removed or relieved from their functions as county uh, security coordinators of Kutemanuba County? I'm interested in that, and I know the audience. Is, the audience they are also very very keen to to to, to get that, that that narration. Uh, yes, were they kicked out of their function? Yes. But did they kick themselves out of that function? My response to that is no. These are people who are, power is not the thing. They proved it. I've spoken to them time and again behind the scenes. And when I talk to them, everything they talk about is their passion toward the struggle. What they are doing, what they have done, and what they are doing, what they know. The reason they kicked them out, they voted them out, is the same reason they wanted charity gone. But people know the truth, but they want to twist it just to fit the agenda. 
They know the truth. They want to fit, uh, twist it to gain the position. In war like this one, investigation does not take one day, one month, one week. For example, Belgium, France. If there's a problem, it takes years to actually get a result of a mistake done by the military in the Middle East. It doesn't take one day. Yes, they were accused of embezzling the draft money that was actually <clears throat> sanctioned by the chair lady to go down to ground zero to procure equipment for this war. They were accused. Mind you, they are innocent until proven guilty. Okay? Up to date, there is no proof. I'm not supporting them. I've done my due diligence of investigating of investigation. I don't just come on air now today to tell you that I'm taking their side. No. I also put in money, just like everyone else. But I want the truth, transparency, accountability. I spoke with the treasurer. Then I spoke to them. Did you actually give this money? Yes. Then I went digging in ground zero myself. I spent my personal money to get information on that part. Remember, remember, I am from Guti, and my people at the time, even now, they need answers. But some people are just so blind. They are they, they, that, that's so blind that they don't want to know the truth anymore. They want to stick on that point where they say they are guilty, they should be taken out. Let me ask you, since when they took them out, from the moment they took them out, whoever has replaced them, those that have replaced them, what have they done? What do they know? Give them $10,000. In three months, we need gadgets. Can they procure those? Can they provide them? I spoke with the chair lady before the election. Oh, this woman. She was like, uh, Chief, I have to go by the people. I'm leading the people that put me here. I have to go by what? They want their request is that to vote these people out. Voting them out, if it means that they will be they will stay out there and then the truth come out, so be it. The people have spoken. I said, okay, chair lady. And that then we went to that meeting. I said, okay. The new security team that was elected here, please do your best to work with this outgoing security. Uh, uh, people, Prof and his deputy, work with them hand in hand. These people know things. They have connections. They know where to touch and something will come out. They're not perfect. Not everybody. They don't know everything, but they know the basics that will bring us what we need for this war. Believe me when I say this. I've seen them work. Okay? Now, one other thing that I will highlight, these guys are in Europe. Money is from America. When you send them $1,000 to send to Ground Zero, you expect 500,000 francs CFA to get to Ground Zero. But remember, Euro is higher than uh, uh, dollars. So when you send that money to them, taxes are deducted from it. The money doesn't get to them $1,000 anymore. Now they have to pay charges to send it again to ground zero. How much do you think that money at the end it will get to? Uh, how much do you think will get to ground zero at the end of the day? Maybe eight hundred dollars. Whoa, these people. Whoa, this is. So please, I am pleading. That please, please, and they ask for receipt. I see him post some receipt on uh, uh, on a forum. Some say, I hand, some say I hand written receipt and so on and so forth. People, you have to know that sometimes these guys, when you give them money, they call a colleague in Ground Zero and say, please, I want you to, ha to, to hand 200, 300,000 francs to this person. Clovis, tell me, your viewers, mm -hmm. how do you get the receipt on such money? It is practically impossible to get a receipt 
of that type because that type and famous, famous, we avoid doing official transfer because our monies can be blocked by the occupying regime of La Republic du Cameroon, my audience. I want you people to take note of this. You don't expect if you want to buy granite and they give money to me. 3,000 euros. That I should go and send 3,000 euros. Whereas we know that military people with plain dresses are planted in, uh, in, uh, in various banks, various uh, 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 agencies where monies, uh, monies are sent around. You expect me to send that money there and the money will be blocked and the person who will go to pick up the money will be as well arrested. Because a handful of us Ambazonians who came from outside, from outside, we pick and throw in stuff because we don't know the difficulties that are, that people who are doing their, their best to make sure that we get to Boya are doing there. We don't know the difficulties and roadblocks. So we should be very careful before we make public statement that will destroy our revolution, public statement that will destroy the uh, integrity and the personality of people who are who have put their, uh, their services out there to, to get up to Boya. That is what I wanted to keep it. Now, someone has written here that the security team, that the security team that is put in place for now, that the old security team, that is uh, the, the former security team, have, they refuse working with them. But let me respond to that question. I don't think so. Because I myself have, I attended a meeting, I think two uh, Kupe Manubu uh, County meeting, uh, General Assembly, and I heard how these former security coordinators have been lamenting in the presence of those people in that meeting that they have been waiting for them to act on how to do this, on how to do this. None of them came up to ever ask. And I didn't hear any objection. I'm speaking as an activist. I'm not taking side. So you shouldn't say I'm taking side. I was in that meeting. I'm not saying that somebody told me. Yes. So, uh, I, will, I will tell you. Let me add to what you just okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can I can I add to what you just said? You are free. Good. Um can you just pause for one second, please? Yeah. Just talk to the yeah. audience. Yes. Give me a minute here. I'll be right back. Please, okay. please. You are free. Yes. So ladies and gentlemen, so, and fellow Ambazonians, fellow Ambalanders, our people, our civilian people out there, our foot soldiers, our guerrilla fighters. I hope that this information, that the gospel truth concerning the situation and some rumors that have been going on or surrounding the Kupe Manuguba County are being debunked by a resource person of this caliber today. So you should open your ears and get this information and as well analyze the, the, the information and translate it and get the information to people out there. So that we don't need to be throwing insults and accusations, baseless accusations. So uh, I think I'm very happy because I'm able to get this person today so that he can enlighten us properly. We should know what we want to know and we should know what we didn't know. We, yeah, because a lot of things have been going on that we. I, I, I myself am not. Uh, just like he said, the care lady said. He goes with the vote of the people that those people were voted out pending investigation. I myself I also I say I side with the peer lady for the position that she took, accepting them to go out so that things investigation can run. So, uh, there is uh, there are a lot of things that we really need to be talking about. Uh, we need to talk about. So people have heard why they were removed from their functions. People have heard the circumstances surrounding that. I don't, there will be a topic that I will invite you or any other person, like Mr. Bison, you are talking, you will be invited if you want. Because 
In as much as I know, before I inscribed, before I registered, before I become, I became a member in the Kupe Manungu account in their WhatsApp forum. I was so shocked when I saw what Kupe Manungu did on the independent day because I thought my country Kupe Manungu was the last. When I saw the marvelous job. The, that the, I think that was the county marshal. The old soldiers, my server was moved, and it was from that day that I took an oath that I, I won't just stay out as an activist for uh, Ambazonia. I will be coming and attending and doing my contribution at the level of my country and the LGA. Because I was moved, I saw the way our boys also marched on that day. Yeah. I applauded those who did that job behind, not knowing that they are the two coordinators, security coordinators that have been knocked out. They did a wonderful job. That is my own point from my own opinion. And I think my audience as well, who, went, who saw those videos, who saw those footages during the Independent Day celebration, will accept, will buy this stand with me, will stand with me to say that those people did a wonderful job. So, whosoever is the security coordinator or whoever is there, what we want, we want result. But now I know when they are in, they are now facing the real down. The dancing there as a security coordinator is not as the, the type of dancer you will be dancing from outside because you don't know what is inside. When you get there and they start putting uh, they start giving you activities to carry out and you see the difficulties inside of you, you start thinking why was I criticizing the the former security coordinators because you begin to see a, a lot of roadblocks. So yeah, um, you are back to there yeah. will be another right, episode that I would like you to talk about what also happened, whether it is classified, because sometimes uh, soldiers, after they showcase that strength during the independent day celebration, they later got attacked, and people started, a lot of things happened, and then we, uh, things, things were lost in order. But that will be for another day. So I think you uh, can see you have something to say. You can tell the audience. They are listening. Yes, uh, I'm telling uh, the audience and Kupe Manuba people, Ambazonia. I'm sorry, I, I had to take a, a little break here to attend to uh, my son. So, yes, my appeal to Kupe Manuba people who are at home watching this show or will watch it later, please, there's no problem that doesn't have a solution. Every problem has a solution come to the meeting, ask your questions. Things are not the same as they used to be. As I said, we were, I mean, we've been apprenticed in this war for four years, and we have learned a lot, and we are now ready to implement what we have learned. Come back, maintain your trust, draft. And I'm appealing to our friends out there, the friends of Kupe Maninguba, if you are drafting on my behalf, send it directly to the, the, to the county treasurer and say, please, I'm supporting chief. I'm sending this money to the county on behalf of Chief Conchinala. I'm sending this money to the county on behalf of Mr. Clover. Let me say one thing. One LGA cannot take us to board. People fail to understand why they say LGA by LGA. Then you have an umbrella called county. All right? It's like a soccer uh, uh, team. They have that name, Tombe United, all right? But there are 32 players. Out of that 32 players, you have to select the best to go represent. So in this aspect, you have LGAs. Why did President Sarko create this LGA? So that the LGA will go back to their community and mobilize, be soldiers, then bring it to the level of the county and let the government now use those soldiers to prosecute this war. But what did we do in return? We took those soldiers and hurt them as if they are our property. I'm not blaming anybody, I'm blaming myself. I was, I was, I was uh, uh, the chair of Nguti at the time. 
What did I know? But knowing what I know today, mayor of, <laughs> of the city has nothing to do with military. Is the commander in chief. As a mayor, you can only deal and powers over police. The police, that's all. But when it comes to the military, the authority is from the presidency. That's why they call him commander in chief of armed forces. When he say jump, the only question you ask is how high, Mr. President. So he gave an assignment to our defense people. But sorry, the failure is not from here in diaspora. It's from ground zero. Did they make mistake too? Those two uh, uh, security people, of course, of course, they made mistakes. They made mistakes. But should we crucify them? Then I have to start crucifying myself as former Nguti chair for the part that I played. Production center, martial program. I should crucify myself, but because I took wrong decision. I should have stood up and made executive decision just as the chair lady did. Whatever the problem is, we learn from mistakes, but I didn't. So I'm advising every Kupe Maninguba who is out there, the team in place, formidable. Believe me when I say this, it's formidable, superb. And we are ready. We are walking. Step back. If you look at now, look at the four years. What we did in four years. We were just excited. The kid that you showed them a candy, they jump up, oh, daddy, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, do, he does this, but with no sense of direction. We did some good work. But starting 2021 to now, what we have done, the pain we have inflicted on these people. It's more than the pain we have inflicted, the more than the pain we inflicted on them for years. Before stopping you here, before you go ahead, are you, do you want to assure my audience that Kupe Manuba, something is being prepared that will, that will boost our, our, our county? Well, you know, sometimes when you go to the store, they will tell you that thing is not for sale, it's just for display, for show. Okay. So, on that one, yeah, I don't just yeah. comment on that. Okay. For security, like for, right. and there are things that I don't know on that point. Okay. Let's yeah. let security handle the security stuff. And I'm appealing to the new security and all the LG is to come together. Let's drive. Let's work as a team. I mean, be our soldiers. If we work as a team, we should stop holding because when you stay away from your county, you are holding the struggle hostage. Who is the enemy? The Republic. Who Not just holding the struggle hostage. You are becoming an enabler by facilitating the, 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 exactly. the, the, the slaughtering <laughs> and the yes. decapitation of our people, our civilians. Our civilians. Because if you put things together and you support our country, you make, I think the war is going to last shorter and we get to the war and our civilian population will be free from all this suffering. So just from what you have explained to, to, to my audience and to my humble self, I'm confident and I'm very, very sure that Kishen Wanaguba is doing well from the political structure and Kupe Manuguba is on the right track and very soon we shall be seeing results. Now, I will be using my voice. Everyone under the sound of my voice here, you people did it in 2020. I don't see why you will not do it in 2021. People called me personally from America, from Canada, that they want to send their draft to me. I said, I'm an activist who never talks. I don't touch money. I don't collect money. I only give you direct fee where you can put in your money. And I had to link them to the chair lady. I linked them to the chair persons of LGA and they contributed. Double that effort this time because the game on ground zero has changed. You have seen the way military ammo cars are being blown up just as balloons. If you have, if you just in this 2021, it will not just be military ammo being blown, blown off. 
you won't be seeing RP taking down those colonial representatives, those colonial structures, those, such as the Asian office, the governor's office, the taxation office, will be brought down without we without casualties on the side of our gorilla fighter. This is the moment. If you don't key in, then you don't want us to get to Boya. You will have to draft. Now the government has already carried out the draft. As a reminder, I'm not working for the uh, for the interim government. Each every member who happens to be a, a, a member in the interim of the interim government coming from the country or the LGA must draft those who are not drafted under when the government drafted the other day no you will be delayed because if you don't draft the government in response is thinking that they will not come in your country to call people to draft so pay your draft before going on with this i myself this time i am promising to draft for kufe mwanungu vacanti if kufe mwanungu vacanti has to if they have to move ahead I won't be clapping hands on others when I stay below. I, I, I'm never a tail. I want to be a head. A draft, let me remind you people, it's a thousand dollars. They don't want you to pay for at once if you don't have all. But if you start, I have 200 euros, you draft for your country or your LGA. It encourages you to, when you have another hundred, to put, when you are within a given period of time, you, you will see that that will be done. That, that, load, yes. that load is off your. Your folders. So we have to draft. I myself will draft. So I'm calling on every son and uh, daughter, sons of Kupe Wanuguba, daughters of Kupe Wanuguba, to pay in their draft. We are, I, I, I think, I, 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 I already am having a vision of, of what is going to happen. Kupe Wanuguba is in good draft. Support me, my fellow viewers and followers. Send this information out. Draft for my country as well. There is nothing that is too small. You can as well draft your country yeah, and you still come with uh, them. No, I want to help Kupe Wanuguba. And you do something, no matter how small it is. Now, there is uh, also what we call the president bas basket. We are getting to the end of the show. My audience, uh, my invite, uh, my invite is here. The president basket, you should know what is, uh, what is the president basket. Make sure that when they, uh, you are drafting, draft for that basket. That basket is meant for the president to give a helping hand to counties or LGAs that don't have the financial uh, might. <laughs> to, to, to have just like Mogamo had 100 and something, we do not have that, that we are doing destruction. So if you know that you like people like we, people like, for them to carry, you saw what General no people did just a few days ago. I hope most of you people, you have, slept, you have been sleeping on your bed very happy. That is the, you must draft for the president's basket. And now, I don't know if my invite and my guests will buy this idea, but this is an idea that I'm selling to Kupem, to not Kupem Wenunguba County, to the whole Ambazoni. Listen and listen clearly. Now, I made a post. I said, how can we recover uh, embezzled money? I did not mean money to have been taken. Let me explain. What I, in essence, what I was saying is that if money is meant, is divorced and signed for a particular purpose, and that individual fails to carry out that, that tax given to him willfully, not, uh, not by making error, willfully, thinking that he wants to do all so that we don't get to Boya. If we find out after investigation that that is what you did with our money, our draft money, we will have to come after you. And now, look at the way we have to come after you. Because most of them have been doing that because they say, how oh, they have no country, they don't have the structures, how will they get me and take me? Tabeyang is in possession of about three hundred thousand dollars. My trip to Boya. That is an old story because he thinks we cannot get him. But if they bought this idea that I'm bringing, or if they buy this idea, those people will be in order. Now, 
for an individual who will take our money and willfully mismanage the money, thinking that he has gotten a bank where he is working money, what we have to do, we will locate your investment on Grand Zero, your property, and our soldiers will go after those property and investment to reclaim our money. That is a way to keep people checked. People who have dubious mentality. I'm not meaning, I don't say people who make errors. We know errors. They can say somebody went to buy this and then the police, the custom got this with clear evidence. There is no problem. But I mean, someone who will take money without, he will not give accountability. He will refuse to submit before the audit. He will refuse to say what happened. That is what we are going to do. So, each and every country should buy this idea. The interim government should buy this idea. Because I, I think, in as much as I know, a lot of people, before they join this revolution, they have wealth. They have investment back on Grand Zero. So if they don't want to see the investment, then that is their problem. You don't touch our money in a wrong way. If you come in, then you, you are cut. If you are eating that money, what are you thinking? That our mother sleeping in the bushes, under the trees, our <laughs> people in Nigeria, in Ghana, how are they going to survive? Because you have seen the outreach that the interim government always does. President Sako is carrying out a lot of, uh, they are doing a, a good job. It's because of this money. Then if you keep that money, then we cannot help them. And if our population goes against us, then we have no supporters. So we should make sure that when we are kept in a position of responsibility, we should try our best to make sure that this thing gets to, to, the, to the desired uh, destination. So that is what I have for today. And if you have my, some words for the audience, because you are useful and I will be, you will have a lot. Many people will have to know a lot. I will be bringing you on my show and any other person who will be who is willing to come out with the truth here that will foster this revolution, you will be invited. Give a word to our audience. Yeah, thank you uh, again, uh, Mr. Clovis, for inviting me. I am, uh, <clears throat> I'm so happy that I'm here to clear the air somehow, you know, and I know that not everybody will agree with me, but next time when I come here, people, you announce it, let them know that I'm the one coming. If it's the, the, the defense spokesperson, so that people prepare their questions, uh, and then um, how we respond to them. But uh, before I leave, I want to thank the people of Kupe Maninguba for actually standing with us, seeing that paying it their dues for 2000, uh, 2020, and I'm calling on you again to come back this time and double it. Come with somebody, please, come with somebody. I'm not going to speculate here, okay? But I'm saying this with certainty that you will not regret it. There are setbacks. And I also want you to know that when you're paying that money, understand that there are setbacks. You can never avoid setbacks in life. In our personal life, there are obstacles, there are setbacks. So we are cleaning up. We are cleaning up. And by the time we are done cleaning up, um, you will smile. That's all I can say. And then secondly, I know uh, people are still, Kupe Maninguba are still asking for more explanation on the money and so on and so forth. I will advise the two security uh, uh, personnel that we are uh, uh, taking out of their position that please, I want to appeal with you. What I heard, what I've been hearing from outside is that they, they think that you guys are arrogant. When you come to the meeting, instead of explaining, you're angry. Please, please, for one last time, if such meeting is called, come in prepared. I have done my personal investigation. I know who you guys are, but you know what? I know sometimes we say in life, I don't have to prove anything to you. No, 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 you have to. If they call for that meeting again, 
come prepared. Don't be angry. Or your horses. Provide what you can provide. And I want people to understand that we are on the right track. So, Mr. Clovis, thank you. And I'll be willing, I'm waiting for your next invitation. I think I'll prepare more and uh, uh, come in and respond to uh, the televiewers and, and, and my Kupi Maningwa people. And my Kupi Maningwa people, please, please post your questions each time I'm on air and I will answer them. And uh, a shout out, uh, let me give a shout out to our chair lady. Doc, yes, uh, you're doing a good job. You're doing a wonderful job. I know people, what do you do in the meeting? I'm not here to advise you. This is something that you've done. You don't care about it. You know what you have to do. You don't focus on their insult. You don't focus on your bully. You always defeat them with your smile and your words of encouragement. So I want you to know that Kupo Manungwa people are behind you a thousand percent. And you are going to deliver. So Kupo Manungwa people, please, this notion of a woman being a leader and she has to lead because she is a woman. Come on now, please. Let's fight this war without looking at a position, trying to be the chairperson, trying to be the treasurer. I'll have to, no. There are difficult uh, uh, positions there. Things that they don't have to give to you. Like raising funds. Why, why don't you just dedicate yourself and say, okay, I am going to start raising funds today. Why don't you say, you know what? I will put down this amount so that we'll put some of these soldiers on salary. Right? But you just have to create a situation to pay somebody back just because you want that position. Please, let's stop this. Work together. I'm, I know that by saying this, I'm hurting some people, but it's the truth. And uh, if it was easy, Mr. Clovis, I'm telling you, there are a lot of things that actually happen that we are not telling the truth. But on, so on the media like this, no. On your TV show, no. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot I'll open up that. Uh, yeah, close doors. Yes, I will vomit it. Okay, it was, a pleasure. it was a pleasure having you. It was a quite interesting show. And I hope yeah. my viewers and the televiewers did not go home unsatisfied. They are satisfied. I think so because I myself, I will not be 100% satisfied. But I'm, I have a greater level of satisfaction now after I have gotten this clarification from an insider like you. And I wish I will have more because I will come up with subsequent things that happen and the way forward and the way that we have to boost and make funds to make sure that our country is up there and get to Goya sooner than we expected. And uh, fellow viewers, make sure that you pay your draft 2021 a clarion call to members of government coming from respective countries draft the government they drafted if you have not paid your draft no the government will be putting roadblocks when it comes to the turn of your country or the LDA will draft it pay your draft it is obligatory that is the only thing we can do to show the people on ground zero that we are in solidarity with their suffering that we are in solidarity with all the pain that they are going through in the, in the hands of La Republic. So we should pay this draft. And my brothers and sisters, share this live show. I know it's going to bring a lot of people on board for Kupe Manunguba for us to realize Boya. So it was nice. Uh, this is Zale Clovis Songe talking from the Kingdom of Belgium, Media and Communication Secretary for Southern Cameroon, Belgium, and Bazonian. Union and a lone activist fighting for our independent war. So thank you and next time. Bye bye. 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 Thank you very much.